We are number 34 of the 35 ways you can improve your store. Number 34 is rent negotiation. So rent is one of the biggest monthly expenses of any retail storefront. It's usually rent and wages. Uh, rent, uh, so there are some things we can do to reduce that cost. Now sometimes there aren't. If you're in a shopping center, you may have an ironclad agreement. Um, you may have other contracts that can't be changed, and fair enough. But if you, if you are not locked into that position, then there are some avenues that you can do. Feel free to talk to your landlord. Um, take advantage of the fact that the retail industry is not what it was 5, 10 or 20 years ago. You'll notice there are a lot of empty retail stores around. And if your lease is coming up for renewal in the next 12 turn, then it's time to do something about it. Um, let me just jump across here and you'll see. I mean, how often have you walked down streets? And these days, there is just shop after shop after shop of empty. Um, here in Sydney, you see it everywhere. Retail really isn't what it used to. And unfortunately, it's, it's not that people have stopped buying or, you know, People blame the internet, oh, they're buying online, they're not going into stores anymore. It's that well, retail is not adapting to modern changes. So all that we've talked about over the last 34 lessons um, will help you adapt to the modern way of retailing. And this is a prime example. So you see these empty, empty shops. So they have owners who are getting nothing out of this empty store sitting there. Now, if you think outside of the box and you think for the cost of coming into one of these stores, it doesn't have to be very big, very small, and throw down some carpet tiles, you might throw up some temporary shelving uh, or some trestle tables, and you put somebody in there for a couple of weeks just with a, you know, um, their phone as a payment option or a till, uh, and then some stock, you've got a pop-up store. And these can be short-term, you don't have to sign long-term contracts with these, but uh, an owner of one of these stores will happily get 100 or $200 a week compared to getting nothing for what it is. And being a temporary pop-up store, they have the right to kick you out if somebody comes along, of course. But you're by doing that, you're not spending a lot of money, you're not outlaying a lot of money doing it you're in a position that you haven't been before again you're getting new eyeballs on your business so you can make it a song and dance that this is a pop-up store hey why don't you come to wherever and, and visit our large store visit our flagship store um, it might be in a different city you might try just try your feet before you go and open a new store in another city or another location you might just want to try your feet and test the waters See what sort of reaction you get from customers. This is all important. This, this is where you can use this to your advantage. So these empty stores, easily approach. They will be happily take a little bit of money over absolutely nothing. So you could make this work to your advantage. These days you can run a store from your phone. You've got internet, which you can run your POS system, run your tills, run your payment system. And all you need is more or less um, some trestle tables and boxes of stock. And that's it. That's all you will need. Um, so it's very easy to do. It's very affordable. Start thinking outside of the box. Uh, otherwise, call your current rental agency or, or the owner and discuss terms. Um, if you're not making the money that you need to, if there are building maintenance issues that you need taken care of before you sign another lease, make sure you do all of this. Uh, now, unfortunately, if you're in a large shopping center, your options are limited. These are usually ironclad, um, but make sure they are standing up to their side of the bargain. They do need to keep um, they do need to keep the maintenance up, of course. You know, floors clean, all that sort of things. Um, now, with currently with the COVID and where they had to close a lot of shopping centers and people were in quarantine and stuff like that, that's out of your hands. It's also out of their hands. You may need to discuss have an open discussion with them, they might help you out in some way. Uh, on street level, you have plenty of options available to you, as I saw, as I said, uh, don't be afraid to contact your agent and let them know you may be looking for a slightly cheaper premises. 
if you've been a really good tenant, you've paid your rent on time, they, they might help you out come renewal time. Uh, if you're a model tenant, they'll be willing to negotiate terms with you just to keep you. It's better to have a good paying tenant than to have somebody wishy-washy that doesn't pay their rent and go through all the rigour of changing it and all that sort of stuff. So speak to them if, if you're unhappy, um, but there is always room for negotiation, rent negotiation.